Welcome back children. In the previous class we learned about the giving tree and how the tree kept on giving whatever the tree had to the boy no matter what. The tree kept on giving whatever it had. Whether it's love or whether it's the fruits that the tree bore or whether it was the shade or its branches or the trunk. And then finally it tells us how human beings utilize nature for their own benefits in different stages of our life. Right? Now let us see what happened. It is said that the young man went on a business trip by you in a boat that was made out of the trunk of the tree. And after many years, the boy, the young man came back and let us see now what happens. And after a long time, the young man came back again. Now he was an old man, but the tree recognized him. I'm sorry, friend, but I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone. My teeth are too weak for apples. My branches are gone. You cannot swing on them. I'm too old to swing on branches. My trunk is gone. You cannot climb. I'm too tired to climb. I'm sorry, I wish that I could give you something, but I have nothing left. I'm just an old stump. I'm sorry. Dear tree, you have always given, but now I don't need much. Just a quiet place to sit and rest. Well, an old stump is good for sitting and resting on. Come friend, sit down and rest. The old man did and the tree was still happy. So, finally the young man became old, he became an old man and he came back to the tree. The tree recognized him even though it was just a stump, right? It was cut down, there was nothing much of it. But still the tree could recognize this person. And then the tree spoke to him and told him that um, I don't have, I have nothing left to give you, I have no fruits. And that time the boy who became a young man and now he became an old man, he's telling that he does not have, his teeth is not much strong, so he cannot have apples. And the tree is insisting, telling him that uh, I can, you cannot provide you my branches. And he's saying he cannot climb. He's very tired to climb. So basically what happens here is that um, the old man is very tired. He has led his life. He is now very tired towards the last stages of his life. Just like the tree. The tree provided and provided. And finally, there's nothing much left of the tree. And that's the time the old man tells the tree that, dear tree, dear friend, you have always given. You have always given. Whenever I ask you something, you have always given it to me. And so now there is nothing much that I need. I just want a place where I can sit and rest. The time the tree is so happy, the tree tells the old man that, uh, listen friend, a stump is always very good for sitting and resting on. And then the old man does the same. He sits there and he rests. So it is a play actually that tells us how nature helps us. Right from the time we are born till the time, till our old age. We keep on utilizing nature as I told you earlier and nature keeps providing us without asking anything in return. So that selfless love of nature is always there. And because of that, we are able to grow and develop. Just like I told you, the selfless love of our parents are with us in every stage of our life. Even our parents don't expect anything much from us, just like the tree over here. And I hope you have understood this. Children, I want you to read this lesson, understand the message that is being given. Okay, you are supposed to read the lesson. And I hope you have enjoyed knowing the true value of love, of selfless love and the relationship that uh, the nature has with us human beings. Okay. 
I'll just go through the summary once again for you children. Once there was a tree who loved a little boy. Every day the boy would come to the tree to eat her apples, swing from her branches, or slide down her trunk. And the tree was happy. But as the boy grew older, he began to want more from the tree, and the tree kept on giving him. Here it shows the relationship between human beings and nature. As I told you earlier, children, in the story, the boy's relationship with the tree undergoes a series of transformation and changes. And in each stage of transformation, the process represents or re simultaneously a stage of human growth and resources available to fulfill human needs and desires. So basically, after e each stage of growth tells us how important it is for us to be imbibed with nature. But now what do we do? We keep exploiting nature. And as a result, we have to go through a lot of natural calamities and disasters like floods, landslides, etc. Because we cut down trees on a large extent. Right? And also there is global warming on large scale, which again has taken a toll. And we don't get enough oxygen to breathe. So as a result, we human beings are being affected by all this. What we need to do is we need to preserve. We need to take care of our environment. We need to stop cutting down trees and we need to plant more trees so that we could also lead a better life. Right? So children, I hope you understood the chapter. I want you to read the lesson. Okay? We meet next time. Thank you.